the numbers for those are of course classified what is uh, been worked out for those numbers but a force mix of those three categories of submarines and three aircraft carriers is what is the navy's plan and that plan of course as you know uh, uh, many people here that work in uh, prospective planning and uh, force planning uh, departments uh, of these services uh, realizing those plans is uh, yet another thing but this is what the navy would want to realize in the next 10 to 15 years <coughs> Thank you. If you go back in history and look at the uh, dominance of the globe, it's always been on the back of maritime power. Whether it was the Dutch, whether it was the Spanish, the Portuguese, the Brits, or the United States, this particular century. I am not espousing that India. desires to be a global power of global ambition but india's growing stature in the world we are the fifth largest economy today and in the coming decade we are to be the third largest economy there is going to be more and more responsibilities for world governance put on our shoulders is but natural as the comprehensive national power of india grows and if we have to play a role in the region or in the indo pacific has to be on comprehensive maritime power and on a larger extent on a comprehensive national power for too long we have been sea blind things have changed for the better post 2014 and all four of us have worn the white uniform it's been a lonely furrow a lonely path to push the maritime discourse and narrative and the need for comprehensive maritime path for india so if we want to be a regional power and have a role to play for what our stature is needs to be on the back of comprehensive maritime power and for that aircraft carrier plays a very important role for too long we have been focused on the continent and looking both west and north we need to look at being one very important point is we are energy deficient nation More than 95, 90% of our energy basket, whether you look at petroleum products, look at natural gas, even good quality coal, comes from overseas. Unless there is a major breakthrough in technology, and we have different energy baskets. We are going to be a net importer of energy, and for that. Easiest way to move energy is by the sea. This is where I look. We need to have a national vision of where we go in maritime power. And maritime, when I'm talking of national maritime power, I'm not only looking at Indian navy, we are looking at Indian merchant marine. As time goes by, smaller and smaller percentage of India's trade is carried on Indian flag bottom. That is Indian flag merchant ship. so we need to have a role a desire and look at the maritime domain in the future and if we neglect to do this going to be at our own peril thank you very much